Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Cesaria. <laughs> and so sorry about the last episode, we really wasn't talking much. I really felt like it wasn't really a good time to do in commentary. It was a pretty serious turn of events. Anyway, in our last episode, we, we pretty much went to, to the went went and actually experienced the the Earth and Historia that Melvin himself was kept kept to himself too, and the, shielding it from the eyes of man. And we experienced the past life of, I mean, we experienced the past involving the shepherd and how, and, and how Heldar actually became the Hellion himself, the Lord of Calamity. And then now that we know what, what we need to do and story come out with its answer, we're now going to talk to Maven and see what he thinks about our answer. You're back. Yep. What are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to make sure the monolith doesn't get damaged. Your thoughts? No one involved was fully in the wrong, but no one was really right either. That's how it felt to me. Yeah, I'll say. Useful understanding to reach. Now, your answer. Um, close Sorry. Let us hear your answer to this. My answer is I want to save Heldolf. The Shepherd's job doesn't just boil down to quell the Lord of Calamity, or even clean up the previous Shepherd's mistakes. When Malevolence consumes Seraphim and turns them into Hellions, we save them. Yet when it brings misfortune and grief to humans, we say they only have themselves to blame. It doesn't seem fair. So that is your answer. Dunno if it counts as one. There are humans out there just like Heldolf. He just happened to play one part in a cascade of terrible events. I'm not gonna say you shouldn't sympathize with him, but I will say it would strike me as bizarre to completely let him off the hook for the horrors he brought to such a peaceful village. And what he's trying to do now is still messed up, right? Absolutely. It's wrong, period, and I will stop it. But even so, you would save this man? No, well, yeah. If I won't save humans like Heldolf, who've had Hellionhood thrust upon them, I'll never see humans and seraphim live in peace. I see. So then you really are an idiot. Of course I am. Saray is Saray, and we love him for it. That's right. He couldn't be anyone else even if he tried. So, Mr. Teller, that what you were looking for? For such a man, ending his loneliness would be the sole path to salvation. Do you understand what that means? Taking his life, I would expect. Saray, can you carry that burden with you? Indeed. That, even more than your answer, is the crucial matter. Right. What's important now is whether you truly will not waver. Or rather, whether you truly believe in your answer and are willing to accept its repercussions. No matter what happens, and no matter what cost. Wait, are you asking him to prove his determination in battle? Well, why you pull out your weapons well, in the first place? Yes. Um. <laughs> in order to defeat one who has been abandoned in time, the bonds of strength must be severed. Show me how that is done. Defeat the one who has been abandoned in time. You can't be talking about how to sever the bonds of strength. So eternal loneliness is a curse, you say? It makes sense now. Old man. Now then, show me! Alright, yes, this is unexpected, but we got to fight against Maven. Uh, now, even though Maven's a human and he's an old man, old man got skills. I mean, on the reels. <laughs> He says, pin down with his projectile attacks. Maybe it's the best way to move in closer. Well, there, Saray. You can get bad. The old fellow has more than one trick up his sleeve. If you're going to get near him, be very careful. Indeed. <sighs> Not a lot looking forward to his boss. Yeah, old man got skills on the reels. For the projectiles, I would just say go right up on him. Ah, stunned. See, old man got skills, yo. <laughs> he stunned me again. Oh, 
Keep your mark by Rose. Ah, you gonna keep stunning me though. Sucks. He went right through my fire area. That's not funny. And it's like the lower his his health is, the stronger he gets. Yeah, we're not to use optimization against the old man. Old man got skills, yo. <laughs> like seriously. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, he can use Mr. Arts. I almost forgot about that too. Hey, I'm still alive. Who knew? Don't kill me. Okay, good. I got one too, Maven. Tag it. Yippee. Go camera, camera, camera. Yeah, armor ties his butt. Don't defuse. What the heck, Rose? <laughs> we were doing good till you defuse, yo. Can't do this. Keep on going, Rose. Huzzah! Good, good, good. What I want to see is not a mere display of strength. So you really are immortal? You understand by now, don't you, the way to defeat me? Yes. Turn my friends into attacks with wills of their own, and use those attacks to pierce through the bonds of strength. Mm. What Dazzle said he did. Then why aren't you doing it? I'm not a Hellion. Even if you make use of that means, your friends will not be consumed with malevolence. <laughs> you won't admit it. After all, to demonstrate that method upon me is tacit acknowledgement that it is your only option with held off as well. But Maven, isn't there any other way at all? No. Even Lila's power is not enough to purify one as consumed with malevolence as he is. You should know that. Saray. Rose. Mm. If you weigh lives on scales, you will falter at the crucial moment. All the more so if it is your friend's lives in question. But if you do waver, and your wavering leads you to a faulty answer, you may never recover. In this way, does virtue become vice? But if you will die for the answer you truly believe in, even failure will not stop you from rising again. What you should fear is not failure, but rather that fear itself will compromise your belief in your answer. Lila. Now then, Saray. If you intend to make this a first, then I shall end it. Show me, not just with words. Oh, but snap. Spirit of belief. Oh, oh, God. Akuma stance. Unfortunately, it looks like they still don't understand. Damn. So, <gasps> Old man got skills. <laughs> He's one shot at us, no, yo. Just a little bit more. Yeah, we're not going down that easily. Even when they resented their <clears throat> own helplessness. Even when they grieved for a fallen comrade. Even when evil schemed to lead them astray. Saray and his companions have pushed ever on, never losing themselves. Knowing fear, but not malevolence, they came all this way to stand here, together. You're really something. I don't like having regrets, and I don't like giving them to other people either. Don't you forget it. Saray, Rose, you paralyzed or something? Going up against Hellions is already life or death. It shouldn't be new to you. Edna. Savine. Well, they have a point. It's just as they said, Rose. Saray, do you remember what I told you? Back at Lady Lake? 
I didn't come all this way just to be a liability. I said it before. Do I need to say it again? No. If the Shepherd Saray truly believes in his answer, then surely may he bring an end to the Age of Chaos. Then show us. Show us your answer. Saray! Saray! Everyone. You have good friends, lad. Darn right. Oh, yeah. Let's go! Come at me! Right. And with this one, we just got to press L1, simply. Just like, just like with Dizzle. Maven! This is... My answer! Maven? Old man! Maven? I thought I could hold out until you finished it, but... Maven? Oh, I'm so sorry it came to this. You're an idiot, too. Oh, yeah. sure, Edna. Not wrong, but I have no regrets. What's going on? What are you saying? Come on! It's because I violated the taboo. If the user breaks the terms of the oath, the special powers granted by the oath likewise vanish. You should have told us. Please, do not blame Lila. She merely did what she believed was right for all of you. And it was my decision to make as well. I believe too. In my answer. And in my friends. And for their sake, I will not waver in what must be done. So there will be no regrets. Maybe. It is time to say our farewells. I promise. I'll never forget what you've told me, Maven. And I'll teach it to others as well. Saray, you... Never did I imagine I would die with others by my side. Thank you. May he rest in peace. Let's go! To Camlon? Yeah. Montellus should still be there. Let's make for Alicia first. There should be a road there leading to Camlon. We saw Gramps come running when the village fell. Oh, that makes sense. So Camlon was close to Alicia. Very likely. That fits with the idea that it was a strategically important location for Highland, Rollins, and the Northern Powers. Yeah, good point. But it looked to me like the road to Camlon was sealed off. Yeah, by my mother. You can cry if... I told you I'm not going to cry. Oh, could you be quiet, Edna? Looks like this is the final battle. Let's end this. Right on! Right. Now that no experience or goal, which I really don't mind, because Maven was cool. Alright guys, and there we go. We have officially reached the last part of the game. Unfortunately, the, unfortunately this part ended with Maven's death. And there's probably something here. Oh, er, <laughs> wasn't paying attention to that. Okay, so now we're gonna head to Elysia. Yeah, we haven't, yeah, we haven't been to Elysia in a good while since the beginning of the game. I went there before from doing side quests, but yeah. Oh, I got a trophy too. Under its herbs. Oh, I got a hundred herbs apparently. Cool. Uh, cutting the ties. So if we cut the tie between Mountellus and Heldolf, we'll be home free, right? I'm not so sure about that. 
He's strong enough to use the Earth itself as a vessel. Will that really be all that it takes? Right. We'll probably have to purify all the malevolence attached to the land as well. Is that right, Lila? She sells seashells by the seashore. <sighs> yep. She, she sells, sells seashells, seashells by, by the, the seashore. seashore. He's got to be doing that. <laughs> Originally, he was the one who had uh. the land. His power was the blessing of the land itself. Right. Like a natural purification of sorts, huh? Don't think that's going to be enough this time. Certainly the activities of the shepherds also contributed to the Earth's natural purification from the outside. But now it's just Saray and no one else. We need to have a plan of action before moving on. But all the same, we can't sit around brooding all day. For sure. Well, yeah, of course. It's always good to plan before we do anything. Now, ooh, oh, cool. Yeah, I, I forgot about this. Um, after you defeat Maven, and since it's like the last part of the game, they, they heal your blast cage all the way to max, which is pretty cool. I like that. And, oh, right, and I'm also show you this off now. And now, if you collect all the Earth and Historia, and let's say you wanted to view all the Earth and Historia again, just for the sake of just seeing the cutscene again, well, if you head here to the monolith where you you experienced the past of the, the shepherd of, shepherd of Michael, so Ray, look around you. Yeah, I'll get there in a minute. I can't even get it. If you check out this monolith, you can actually see all of the Irish gems that you've collected. So yeah. All right. Uh, should I end this path now, or should I keep going? And think. Mm. <coughs> yeah, I think I'll split the parts here. Alright, so let's now head to good old Elysia. I haven't been there in a good while. I don't think we can teleport directly there, can we? Nope. So we gotta go there through the Lake Haven Heights. Can we go there? Jesus. Wait, where can we go? Oh, 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 that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, we're gonna have to actually walk all the way to the freaking bridge. For an event, I forgot about that. Yeah, because I don't think you can teleport there. Wait, I seriously hope we don't have to walk all the way there. I really don't. I really hope we don't have to walk all the way there. If we do, I'm gonna be kind of ticked, <laughs> kind of annoyed. Please tell me we can teleport there. Oh, that's not right. Yes, I'm gonna have to walk. Got. Darn it all to hell and back. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to go f fast forward this part. <laughs> because this freaking here. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, Alright guys, I'll fast forward. I'll see you guys when we get to the bridge.
We're coming on. Yeah, looks like both Rollins and Highland are ready to take the kid gloves off. It's gonna get ugly. Yeah, and I hear it's all going down at Glavin Basin. This is too good. Wait, again? Straight food and weapons, medicine and coffins. We're gonna make a fortune. Oh, of course, emergency are. We're gonna worry about that. They get to make money off of it. This is bad. If any more malevolence collects, that's probably exactly what he wants. You mean held off, yeah? Well, yeah. Let's go take a look. Sounds like it's around Glaven Basin. All right. Before that, let's talk to his turtles. All right. I finally found where he's located. Um. Hey. Careful. You okay? He's not dead, is he? Okay, no, it's not. Thank you. I'm a bit weary from my journeys. But it's time to settle the scores. Gotta hurry to the cat's corner. The cat's corner? I thought that was only until some graces, not this game. The turtles. He's still hurt. He's going to cat's corner, huh? Is he going to have a duel there? It's the illusionary village where cats live. <laughs> It might become a huge cat and turtle free-for-all. So, I wonder, where exactly is this cat's corner? I've never heard of it before. I don't know much either. I have, until the crisis. We're gonna have to do some research. Hmm. Let's start by asking Seraphim who are knowledgeable about regional lore. Good idea. Guardian Seraphim are more likely to know something about the lore or legends. All right, cool. I think we'll do that. Yeah, that's actually related to side quests. I'm thinking I'm actually selling that one off. All right, guys. Um, I said I'm gonna slip the parts, but I just want to put this part along with the last one. So yeah, next one. Next time, let's play Tales of Exilia. We will be heading to Elysia. So I'll tell you guys. I'll see you guys next time.